Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. Last run, I would encourage you to go back and watch the last run. Statistically speaking, it's probably gonna end up being more interesting than this run. We ended up playing as Judas and, uh... Ugh. I really, really don't want to pick up Wiggle Worm. There was like a time when I picked up Wiggle Worm and I was like, Oh, this is gonna be funny! And I picked it up every time it showed up uh, when I didn't have rerolls that were appropriately used for it. And then I think I had one episode where like, Wiggle Worm made it impossible to hit anything and I was like, Alright, fuck that. Sure, it's funny, but I'm not using it ever again. Anyway, the last run ended up being... Surprising. Let's put it that way. We never got carried, as far as I'm concerned. We did have Blue Candle. If you consider Blue Candle a carry item, then... You know, you're gonna have a long and, and sad Binding of Isaac related existence, my friend, because you're gonna get one item on almost every run that's the caliber of Blue Candle. That does not a carried run make. Envy on the first floor is pretty much uh, my least favorite thing, well, second least favorite thing next to rerolling Monstro's Tooth into the Wiggle Worm. And, uh, yeah, like, legitimately, I would rather just pick up nothing than pick up Wiggle Worm. But this Envy fight actually went surprisingly well. We picked up uh, absolutely nothing as a result of it, so we'll be moving on here. We know for sure we're gonna get at least one more reroll, so even if we just get a range or a speed upgrade from this boss fight, I am totally gonna reroll Wiggle Worm instead. If it's a shot speed upgrade, I will probably reroll that. But hey, we uh, know that we're gonna be able to use a reroll uh, because we're guaranteed to get a cube of meat here. This is... Maybe not my favorite boss fight for the uh, the first floor, but it's one of the most like Pragmatic boss fights for the first floor because you get your cube of meat sure It's not incredible, but it's fine uh, and you get your spirit heart which gives you uh, access to the deal with the devil meta Basically, you know you, you cross the first thing off your list by getting a spirit heart it gives you a very good chance to not take red heart damage on the next floor And I could use an old-school deal with the devil run after that deal with the angel strangeness that we had in the last one. Now, we've got one cube of meat. It's fine. We'll make sure to come back down here, reroll Wiggle Worm into Ghost Baby. It's not really the kind of payout you'd be hoping for after uh, two rerolls, investing all of your rerolls into the floor into one thing. But hey, Ghost Baby is better than nothing. And now we have a convenient excuse not to pick up Holy Water, I suppose. Although, Brother Bobby might be better than Ghost Baby. I honestly have no idea. So, we're really hoping that our boss or item room ends up being directly below us, because if it is... Uh, you know what? We can be a little sneaky here. Check that out. If our boss or item room ends up being directly below us, our rerolls might work out appropriately. Looks like, instead, you know, there, there's such a fine line between good use of rerolls and, uh, you know, going in the wrong direction and not being able to use more than the one you came down with. And that might be the line that we have just crossed as we continue to not run into enemies here, or not run into special rooms here. There's a little damage, it's okay. That's why you got the Spirit Heart, to give you some kind of protection there. Bomb for a bomb, the bang, the bang, dicky. don't mind if I do. Put this one right here. Sometimes that'll work out, but hey, it didn't not work out, so there is that. And if I had to guess, I would say that we're probably only going to get the one reroll for this floor, so let's just hope that our item room is good right off the bat. It is good right off the bat. Max's head. That's a great item. Literally nothing bad that I can say about it. We're going to be heading into our boss room uh, feeling pretty strong. Going up against Pin. You know what? One bomb. It basically worked. Don't take damage at the end here and we should be good. Alright. We got HP. This is par for the course. Let's see what our deal with the devil items are. The Pact is a uh, fairly no-brainer. And the Parasite. You know what? Just to be silly, I think I will take the Parasite with us here. Obviously, this puts us in a very uh, dangerous position HP-wise, but I'm happy with the situation we're in. And our damage and tears should be mostly sorted out now. We've set the deal with the devil precedent. We're going to need to stack up more HP if we're going to have it happen uh, on the regular, but still. And we put ourselves in a, a very guppy-friendly situation, which is going to annoy the crap out of some people, of course, as a result of the fact that we've been becoming guppy quite a lot, but, uh, so be it. I have no idea where I would look for the secret room in this situation. Come on, spider bro. Well, we're killing spiders in one hit now, as opposed to two, so I guess that's a positive. Uh, I think we're not gonna worry about looking for the secret room, even though we have two bombs, which means our shop is not going to be worthwhile for us. That's fine. Yeah, but when I say we're in a good position for Guppy, what I mean is that, you know, with one HP, nine lives becomes a no-brainer item. After you take nine lives, if you still only have one HP, it makes a lot of sense to just trade in your lives for free deal with the devil items that give you a better chance and don't really compromise your HP. 
on this floor. If we get the keys, we will be going to the shop no matter what, because fighting greed is actually a really good way to uh, kickstart your heart when it comes to getting uh, more money in the future. But super happy we're on Caves XL instead of Catacombs. I have no idea how to deal with the Devil Chance works here, but here we are. Sun card. Maybe useful in the future. Not super useful for us right now, except as like a compass type thing. We could use it as a world card, but I think we'd be much better off just saving it for later. And my damage right now is actually just really, really nice. Uh, I can't really complain. It's not quite mom's knife territory, but it's really good for just, you know, default tiers, especially considering we're only effectively two floors deep right now. As far as, uh... Yeah, thank you, Ghost Baby. I appreciate this a lot. As far as uh, trinkets go, Burnt Penny is what it is. It's not so bad. Our first item room contains Poison Touch. Should be a big floor. I think we're going to reroll it. X-Ray Goggles. Oh, it's huge. Okay, X-Ray Goggles early is a big item. We'll have to do some uh, exploration to figure out where uh, the rooms are. We might have to do some backtracking, but that's okay. Picking up some money. Second secret room should be guaranteed. If there is one. Same for the secret room, of course. And now we can reroll Spelunker's hat if it shows up. This run's shaping up pretty nicely so far. And we'll go back and get that. The other thing is that we might be able to bomb our way into rooms instead of using keys, which is pretty useful when you have, you know, zero lock opening mechanisms beyond your own wits. I hope you get a you can get a sense if you're watching right now for the amount of damage we're doing, because it really is kind of palpable for being surprisingly early in the run. There's our second secret room. Uh, if it is an eternal heart, I might hold off on it for now, but I might pick it up. It, the best strategy is to hold off. Oh, it's umbilical cord, so never mind. But the best strategy would be to hold off on it, but also the best strategy is to take it, and if I hold off on it, there is a small chance that I wouldn't take it, because I would just forget, but that's okay. Let's check out our other item room, because we're here, and it's the magnet. Magnet is worth re-rolling. Ouija board. I think Ouija board is actually pretty bad. I think I would rather save our reroll for, uh, well, I would rather use our reroll, I should say, to get rid of Ouija board. I think Ouija board's just annoying, man. I don't need spectral tears that much. We already have Ghost Baby. I like to be able to shoot poops and fires easily. In fact, when I pick up Spirit of the Night, spectral tears is like almost a negative part of that equation. Not quite a negative part of that equation. I say almost for a reason, because it is actually good if you can fly to be able to shoot over rocks. But if you can't fly, I kind of consider it a wash. Uh, pinky Eye or Burnt Penny? It's a, it's a tough choice, I'll admit. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's just see if maybe we have our shop in one of these special rooms. That's not in that one right there. Careful, careful. that was a little uh, touch and go there. Um, I think I might stick with Burnt Penny because our damage is already pretty good. But it isn't an easy choice, because Pinky Eye is probably, on paper, a better trinket than Burnt Penny. And if we get, like, uh, Mom's Purse, I would much rather have Pinky Eye than Burnt Penny to, to go along with the Polaroid. I will take Scapular. Scapular pretty much ended up saving my life on that last run, so I have a newfound appreciation for it, I suppose. Yeah, it's a tough choice. Normally I err on the side of damage, but it's also nice to have bombs, even though we have x-ray goggles that allows us to find secret rooms easily. We gotta have some of one consumable, right? Like we, as of right now, are, are out of keys, and we don't have that many bombs. We have a boss trap room, I'm very excited about that. Give me some more HP that I can trade away for some more damage. I still don't know if the parasite gives you like a raw tears upgrade as well, I kinda think that it does. Just got a, uh, an HP upgrade on our boss trap room that's uh, par for the course, but still very much appreciated nonetheless. I'm excited about that. Damage is real nice. Larry Jr. is going to show up and uh, should melt super quickly relative to Monstro. A couple of head-on shots applied directly to forehead and oh shit, you're dead. Would it kill you to give me a key? Like, I'm sorry to put it in, or to frame it like that, but seriously. I would like to be able to visit the shop at some point in my uh, adult life here. Or my uh, geriatric life. Either or, I'll, I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah, we've got a lot of bombs. Maybe we'll, we'll stick with Burnt Penny for now and we'll take Pinky's Eye, or Pinky Eye, on the way out. Let's check out our shop. I know we don't have a lot of money. That, again, I was kind of 
committed to going to the shop regardless because we could fight greed, get a lot of money, and then maybe we can get something out of... Well, actually, we'll just reroll it. Yeah, that's beautiful. I know that we already have uh, x-ray goggles, so we kind of lose the need to see the map. We're not going to get another reroll anyway. Like, we're not going to get two rerolls, so I might as well just go through with this. Uh, let's try to play this uh, judgment right here. I don't know why it's freaking October. Well, it's the end of September. It's, it's, not, it's not October, it's September 24th. Oh, 9 volt, really? That's so good. But the cats are shedding like crazy, despite the fact that, uh, you know, it's just getting a little colder. Did they shed a, uh, a summer coat to grow in a winter coat? Because I just got so much cat fur everywhere all the freaking time. Now, uh, this floor has given us a lot of great gifts so far. We haven't taken any damage at all. Let's be honest, that judgment is probably not getting played. But to get the map and the 9 volt on the same floor and still have even a little bit of money left over is pretty good. We've also got, uh... We've also gotten... What else did we get on this floor? We got x-ray goggles, that's pretty big. What was our other item room again? I've forgotten now. I re-rolled the magnet into Ouija board, then I re-rolled the Ouija board into something that I enjoyed but have long since forgotten about apparently. Couldn't have been that good. That's okay too. You can actually see, I, I mentioned this a lot, but Gertie is a great fight for figuring out how much damage you're actually dealing, and we're de dealing an awful lot of damage here. As you can see, Gertie is, um, you know, breathing intensifies there. Talk about that whole pill situation in just a second here. I'm not totally sure how I feel about it right now. For now, though, uh, I'm thinking that in all likelihood I'm probably going to end up getting a deal with the devil. Maybe. And if we do get a deal with the devil, we're going to want to save our reroll for that, which is why I'm not rerolling it right away. Even though we have the 9 volt, we wouldn't get another one quite in time. There's our deal with the devil. Yeah, we have a lot of things that warrant rerolling here. All right, so we're definitely. Our, first off, I want to point out our knockback is ridiculous right now. We're making Krampus throw curveballs here, much to my chagrin. This all being said, uh, I'm going to take a lump of coal and be extremely happy with it. I think that's going to be really nice for us with our tiers and our damage as they already are. I guess we're going to reroll the shot speed upgrade. Into another shot speed upgrade. It's remarkable how much that happens. Two of the same pill. Work with me, work with me. Okay, one's telepills, which is a blessing in disguise. We can take that down to the, uh, the next floor. Well, not even the next... We have eight bombs, sure. Let's take Nikki Eye. Uh, we can take it down to um, the depths and make that work out in our favor. I'm tempted. I think there's maybe a small chance. Tempted by a judgment's brother. Whoa, two of spades. That's two keys, man. All right, well, you know, you tried. And I, I do appreciate that. Hey, three cents for a two of spades. That's like three cents for two keys bare minimum. But I'm thinking one of these might be balls of or um, bombs of key. Trends till the end. So far, so okay. Bad trip. Eh, it's not so bad. So what do we have? We have the sun card, telepills, two of spades. We can only take one of them down to the next floor. I say we pop two of spades. Give us two keys, and uh, maybe take the sun card with us. It's the most. It's the safest way to play this, which is, means it's the lamest way to play this. But at the same time, I think. You know, safety is relatively important for us in our current situation because we really don't have that much HP. So that deal with the devil didn't give me what I wanted, but it did give me some extra killing power, which is good. This is going to be a challenging floor for us, though. This floor is uh, its a big one. Necropolis uh, does have the power to kill us. That judgment is very nice. But first things first, let's see if we can get this deal with the devil. We'll get a second level Meat Boy here. And I'd say as far as Necropolis goes, we've gotten pretty lucky uh, with our boss fight. Could have been a lot worse. Now we've got an interesting kind of situation ahead of us here. When War starts running, we got to kill him quickly because the knockback could cause him to do kind of unpredictable things. You can see him, he's kind of bugging out here. Well, no deal with the devil. It's not really that much of a surprise, is it? We got our second cube of meat. It's a little extra DPS. Sweet. Could have done some more creative movement here to maybe preserve our reroll, but I just want to see if maybe the item room is directly above us. It is our shop. We'll go to our shop. That was 
a bit touch and go, but we made it work. And our shop contains the compass, which absolutely we want to get. Whether or not we're able to get it is, uh, that's up in the air. I'm not totally sure about that one, to be honest with you. Now, starting to wish that I'd taken telepills because if we're not going to have a lot of HP, we need a ton of damage. We have a, a great amount of damage thus far, I'll admit. Oh, that nickel is so huge. Now we only need four cents. But, uh, we don't have as much damage to really say, like, you know, it's okay that we only have two HP. We need a really game-changing item or a stack of game-changing items, which we're approaching that stack, but uh, to, to be comfortable. Or we just need more HP to drop. You hear that game? If you could just give me some more HP, like, we could... Everything would be copacetic here. Or you could give me easier floors. And this is not me complaining about the item generation we've had thus far. Because it's been solid. But, I would, uh... I would be interested, perhaps, in getting one more high-caliber item, please. Or just a couple HP. I don't think that's that much to ask. We did lose our spirit heart, but... Again, our odds of getting a deal with the devil on uh, the next floor are not nil, but low anyway. So for two bombs, we can get two cents. There's got to be another penny available somewhere. So mom's bra is there. Um, yeah, we can get another reroll. So I think we end up picking up mom's bra, putting it back down. That gives us guardian angel, which is a nice defensive upgrade. We've got a good assortment of deal with the angel items here too. Uh, but uh, we're gonna need. One more little money supply here. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so we got our key back. I mean, the golden chest paid for itself, assuming we don't die on this room. Uh, and we can now use two bombs, if necessary, to get those two cents. It's not the greatest value proposition, until you consider that it's, you know, that or don't get the compass, probably. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll choose getting the compass, which along with the map and nine volt creates a really, oh, careful, a really nice uh, assortment of shop items. Do you hear that? Oh my god. That was a FIFA ad just started playing in the background. I think Bear Taffy's about to start his stream. <laughs> I hosted him and left the tab open. I didn't realize. That's funny. Super pride, huh? Little uh, anxious about what those troll bombs can do, but apart from those, easy fight. I did take some damage. Tower card sucks. Spirit Heart is majestic. Thank you very much. And I still haven't picked up the pennies yet because I th I'm thinking that maybe there's a small chance that we can just go to this other room over here, which will also have the second secret room attached to it, apparently, and uh, as a result, we'll be in a good position. Please just have a couple of pennies drop from this uh, fistula fight, and I'll be, uh, I'll be a happy individual. Nope, we got a pill instead. And dead bird foot, jeez. Pill was full health, at least. Now we know. I'm not going to go to the curse room because I want to keep the spirit heart alive as long as possible. I think if we fight on the depths on the next floor, it's actually fairly reasonable that we don't take... Or fairly realistic, I should say, that we don't take any damage. That's how good I feel about our damage right now. And we really had to, to eke it out. Oh, there was another room left that I missed. But we really had to, to work for it, but we did end up picking up... Or we will end up picking up the compass. Not the easiest pickup I've ever gotten of it in my life, but uh, hey, we have it. And we don't have money equals power anymore, so it's not like we're sacrificing a lot. And uh, I'd really be surprised if our next shop didn't have Super Greed in it. But if we have the keys, it'll still be worth going to. And we will go to this last room, even though it scares the crap out of me, and I really don't want to lose our spirit heart. And sorry, Judgment, that's just not going to be in the cards. Don't get hit. We got such good damage from range. And we got another key, so I'm, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Okay. Necropolis could have been worse. Down to the next floor. Picked up some decent stuff. It's the depths. So now it's time to put my money where my mouth is. What did I say? We're not going to take damage. We're going to try not to. I almost took damage immediately. You know, no guarantees. Secret room contains potentially enough money to start thinking about our shop. Now, I was totally wrong, by the way. There is going to be a uh, a shop that doesn't contain greed, because there's a mini-boss mini boss elsewhere here who we're totally going to fight, and we're going to hope that it's gluttony, I suppose. It's the latter, so we reroll that into notched axe. 
You might be saying, whoa, whoa, don't re-roll that yet, because you don't even know if you're going to have the money for it. I, I know, but I'm assuming that we'll have the money for it. You know what happens when you assume. Oh, there's the damage that I thought we would never take. Um, you know what happens when you assume, but at the same time, I really think that it's, uh, it's a likely possibility here. Too bad there's no uh, blood bank that we can see, at least right off the bat. Oh my god, really? So Ultra Pride shouldn't be too bad. It's really just a pain in the ass when you fight him super early. Uh, but it's still one of the harder mini-bosses, and we really don't want what he's going to give us. Although, to be honest with you, considering we're on the last floor, and we're going to, well, the last floor where we're not going to have the Polaroid, we could get Mom's Purse, but I think we're going to roll with the left hand. Because I, uh... Probably blow that up if we have to. Um, I could get like some guppy items as a result. And we're in a good position to become guppy. I mean, I realize we haven't seen basically any of the items thus far, but our HP puts us by default in a, a position to become guppy, shall we say. So we're going to work our way towards our item room here. Damage is good enough to uh, not really be at too much risk here as long as we don't walk on the creep accidentally. Bomb for a key seems like a great deal. And again, we're not trying to really, uh... Oh, Jesus. I was just about to say, like, you know, we're not trying to get a deal with the devil on this floor, but we're trying to keep our spirit heart so we can have a really good chance to get one on the next floor. Well, hopefully we get some spirit heart drops elsewhere. Why not go back and reroll Book of Revelations if I'm committing to the, the shop? I, I kind of want to keep Book of Revelations around for now, just so I can get an extra Spirit Heart out of it. And this does warrant a reroll, so all we missed out on there is one room of rerolls, which... Uh, with the... Uh, with the 9 volt, it's not that big of a deal. Except for the fact that we have to put another reroll in right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up blowing up that Fortune Teller. It depends, though. If we get enough money to play the fortune teller and still buy an item from the shop, if there's an item we want to buy from the shop, then I guess I'll do it because it's probably an easy way to get spirit hearts. Tears downgrade is, uh, you know, an it's annoying, but it's not that bad, actually, in the whole scheme of things, I guess. Like, our damage is already good enough, and, you know, tears upgrade's relatively easy to come by for the most part. It's not like we're going to take a, t a second tears downgrade. That's pretty much the only way we can get one of those, uh, short of picking up an item that gives us some other benefit, like... You know, quad shot, yeah, it's a tier's downgrade, but it's probably worth picking up in most situations, regardless because of the oh, fringe benefit it provides. I was going in the wrong direction here. We'll come back and we'll reroll uh, Charm of the Vampire, and we're really hoping for HP. It's the most important attribute for us uh, on a lot of runs, but it, very much in particular on this run right now. That's not HP, that is Shoop the Whoop. It's not very good. And we're only going to get one more reroll, so it's starting to look like it's not going to happen. Like, Book of Revelations is not going to happen here. So we got to start to turn our attention to the next floor. What are our outs here? Like, this run's not bad, but it is dangerous right now. It's the kind of run that's good but uncomfortable, and I, I make that distinction because sometimes you can have a comfortable run that's really bad. Like, you get a, an F-ton of HP, but you don't have any way to kill enemies reliably, so you know that you're just going to have a lot of health always, but then die eventually. Check out our curse room quickly here. Uh, okay, I'm very happy to have gotten the Spirit Hearts. Um, this run seems like a good run where just one item showing up at the right time could really propel us to victory, but it's uncomfortable. We're constantly going to be in danger of our HP running out. So if we reroll the item room, we'll have this will be our last reroll for this floor except for the boss room which we should be able to get a reroll on assuming that room prior to the boss room has enemies in it There's a little bit of theory crafting going on in here i think uh, it's pretty unlikely that our shop is going to be worthwhile now unless we get a renegade money drop yeah okay that's what we want lard is good it makes us very very slow like very 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 slow but the hp is worth it because it has to be worth it at this point Yeah. If, if there had just been an arcade on this floor, things could have been a little bit different. Not to say that, you know, this is a, a lost cause. But, a, like, a single blood bank showing up here could have changed things. Because then, you know, we get lard. 
that gives us a huge means with which to play our blood bank with a huge HP resource with which to play our blood bank with oh, we've already seen the second secret room all right let's just go for it not gonna blow up the uh, fortune teller not gonna play it either uh, and then maybe we get the blood bank so that compensates for the speed downgrade from lard and gives us more HP plus the blood bank gives us the money we need to actually buy something useful from the shop maybe we get an extra spirit heart buy a book of revelations and we end up picking up none habit as well which makes the d6 much better these this is all just theory crafting but even if like one or two of those things had come true um, this floor could have been substantially stronger for us but hey it's done and we got HP out of it we lived uh, we got the Polaroid it's down to the next floor we have spirit arts map compass and really uh, curse of the lost is annoying especially because we're on utero instead of the womb and there's some bad damage but uh, provided we can guarantee ourselves to deal with the devil here with a reroll going into it, this is quite conceivably all we need. The only thing is, don't take damage. Like, really, truly, sincerely do not take damage. I finally, I think I've got a deeper understanding of why runs uh, fail and why runs work in The Binding of Isaac. And this is a run where, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be the game not giving us items that'll kill us. It'll be taking damage on this floor that kills us, even if it doesn't look like it directly. Taking red heart damage, I should say. So, like, blast assist, no big deal. Not a problem. I would feel so much more confident if we just got, like, one random spirit heart drop. Okay, please start to deceive. Thank you. Wow, you guys pop up quickly. Really? It surprises me. Okay, that's a key. Remember, we can walk through this room, so I don't mind it. Kind of scares me. But I think we're already, like, halfway through. Oh, I want to leave now. I've made a terrible mistake. No, maybe we're fine. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm a little anxious about it. Oh, that's the damage. Okay. I, like, we can, we can always come back and do this room later. But we're already, like, 80% done. Don't just give me money. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the reroll pedestal, mister. Dad's key? That's bad. Strength is pretty good. I guess we'll use strength on this floor because we want to take the sun card for the next floor. Oh, what the heck? I'm taking Dad's key with me. We don't want that. So we'll stick with the dice. Just don't get caught here. And don't be fighting conquest. It's really this boss that could end up pooping on us a little bit. Though well, it's the only enemy left, isn't it? Please be a second or a secret tinted rock. Nope. All right. Who we got? The fallen. It's conceivable that we don't take damage here. Oh, 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 God. So I would like to thank you, uh, Troll Engine, for the gift of this strength card, which has given me the speed necessary to get away from the fallen. That saved me a uh, potential nightmare situation. Oh, this is big. It's coming true. The prophecy. Get Guppy's paw. That's really useful with the Polaroid. And what do we have in here? Mon frere. I will take the mark. Oh. I think rather than re-roll this, I'm going to take Guppy's paw, roll on 10 spirit hearts, which I admit is a dangerously low amount, but still, I think this is the right way to play it. And then we get the nail. And I think we have to roll, as much as I would love to keep the d6, I think we have to roll with the nail. The sun card is basically worthless, because we have map and compass. We can use it as like a Necronomicon type thing. I think we have to roll with the nail. If we want to win this run, we have to go with the nail, I think. Alright, so we'll have like crazy permanent Polaroid invincibility. Really nice damage as a result of uh, the pact. Our damage is already really nice, but now it's uh, even nicer. Shouldn't be taking damage on this room. We don't have nuns habit, so our damage isn't halved by, or like our the damage we take isn't halved by uh, the nail. But we will be picking up one spirit heart every three rooms, plus the associated damage bonus, which is solid. And I think we can pull out a win here. I don't even think it's like that unlikely. Why did I not have a? Oh, you know what? The nail's once every six rooms, isn't it? Not once every three. So even with even with 9 volt, it'll be once every 4 rooms, I think. 
I'm, I underestimated it. I thought it charged the same rate at the, as the uh, E6. Or maybe I thought it was a four room charge. It doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out, okay? Permanent bombs? Permanent bombs. And we do have lump of coal, which means if I just stand way back here, uh, we should get a, a nice damage buff. We'll be heading up to the cathedral, of course. At least we don't have Curse of Darkness. That's all I can say about that. And it's going to be a really quick jaunt to get to our uh, boss room here. So we'll use the nail on this room for sure. Chain reaction. We're going to one-shot these guys. The chain reaction is really all they got. I don't think it's worth going to the curse room. I, I can see the arguments for both sides. But uh, I think for me, I'd rather just have the guaranteed HP than maybe get a... Like a very, very small chance to get a little bit closer to becoming Guppy, but I would still need one more transformation item anyway. Did take a little damage here. That's okay. Our HP is still pretty much sitting pretty from where we got the nail earlier. At least this room doesn't have turrets on it. Oftentimes it will. Or it does, I should say. Knockback's really annoying. It means I have to like reposition between every shot on Greed. You did it. You finally made me pick up the Steam Sale. Are you happy? I hope so. You worked hard enough for it. Parasite allowed us to do some nifty shooting there. You might have missed it because we killed them so quickly, but uh, <laughs> it was neat. Now, that was probably a situation where I should have taken damage, but I didn't. So let's count our lucky stars, or count our lucky suns more like, because we are still holding that card. And of course, you know, the problem with getting rid of the D6 is about to rear its ugly head. We're about to be going down to the chest, and if the items suck, well... We're coasting, basically. Coasting implies that, you know, you're in a really good situation, which may not be the case. But uh, if, if they're decent items to begin with, then uh, jokes on alternate universe me, I suppose. It's not so great damage, but that's okay. Put a bomb down there. I was hoping that that would take care of the angel fetuses, and that's exactly what it did. If we take three hits against Isaac, you know, I can leave this fight enthusiastic about our future chances, I'd say. Isaac's dead. We still have eight spirit hearts remaining. Long trip to go to get to our boss fight. And uh, tough love's good. Infestation is bad. Bomb bag is potentially okay for us. But we'll be looking for more, uh, more payouts here, no question about it. The teeth are gonna be nice, though. And you know what? We need the extra bombs. Oh, this is the room that we hate. We do need the extra bombs. We're, we're not getting that many, and we were using them at least somewhat against uh, Isaac. Yeah, bad damage, but at least this gives us a chance to start getting them, you know, screwed over here. This is a room where I expect to take damage. Like a decent amount of it. If we could just get even one of them to stop jumping, that would be like a, a start that I would consider productive. Oh, we just hit one of them with a tooth. That means he's probably super vulnerable. Okay, one's down. I should have been hit there, probably. Come on, dude. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, I didn't really want to go to this room. But I came down to it as, like, an escape hatch. And it will give us a nail charge. But now we got to get out of this room over here. We did. All right. It's looking a little scary. I think we will pop the nail. I think we'll have just enough time to get our uh, damage back for the uh, for the blue baby boss fight. I hope I'm not mistaken in that because the damage bonus might be important than getting, or more important than getting one extra spirit heart. Well, and of course, some of it will depend on whether or not these rooms actually have enemies in them. More teeth, more teeth. Hey, there's a good tooth. All right, this is gonna be a it's gonna be a tight one. If we can have this much HP when we go into the boss fight, it's fine. By the way, for people wondering why I didn't take PhD, I was just kind of leaving it there just in case maybe a D6 showed up or something and we don't get any pills. Like, you can definitely... Uh, fool card's pretty much meaningless here. You can definitely make the argument that there's no reason not to take it, but there's also, like, no reason to take it. I think it's worth going through this room. Yeah, especially considering it's Gertie. Uh, there's no reason to take it if there's no pills either. You get an HP bonus, but we don't have, uh, we don't have red hearts, so... Not gonna worry about it. All right, uh, I think we got a chance. I think we got a decent chance, in fact. 
So we'll get the damage bonus from the nail. Pop it. Take damage immediately. Uh, we will use the sun card. Do as much free damage as possible. That's not really as much as I wanted. Um, but I'm going to be waiting on using the sun card because it is really just a Necronomicon. I'll be waiting on using it uh, until the angel fetuses show up, which is pretty soon. There we go. Let's pop that. Very small amount of damage to Blue Baby itself, but it's okay. And we're going to actually come through this fairly comfortably. That was another interesting run, a, a Deal with the Devil focused run that didn't rely on Mom's Knife or becoming Guppy. Although we did use Guppy's paw. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.